Hello everyone, PicFu has recently introduced a new tool, Amazon Mockup Generator. In today's session, let's talk about what is it, how to use it, when to use it, and what are the precautions we need to take while using it. My name is Dr. Vasamin and I am CEO of Upscale Valley, an Amazon advertising agency. Uh, let's jump over to the topic here. Before then this, with the help of the conventional tools, we used to have the opinion on one particular feature uh, from the PicFu audience. But there definitely there was also a margin of error there. For example, uh, you are taking opinion about the design of a wallet, you are willing to launch an Amazon platform. And here is the one design of wallet and here is the second design of wallet. And then let's say after the poll of maybe 50 people to 100 people, people are suggesting that they are liking the design B. But sometimes what happens is there's an error, there's a fallacy, what people usually do, they keep more than one variables while doing the poll. So what happens is that you are not sure if people are liking your design B due to the different design or maybe due to a different color, because sometimes you don't bother about this factor that maybe the color can be different of both designs. Maybe there is a special logo there uh, or there's a special imprinting which is capturing the eye of the customer. So you need to make sure that everything is exactly same except that particular variable uh, regarding which you want to take the opinion of the public. So that was in the conventional tool. And what we used to do was we used to keep everything in the image same and then testing each variable at a time, doing multiple testing. And then again, uh, there was always a lag there. What was the lag basically? Uh, you're not sure uh, what impact the price is going to put on the public opinion. So let's say I'm saying that here is the design A and here's the design B, which one would you like to buy? And people are suggesting about design A. But then there was also this the second fallacy, uh, the second mistake which people used to do, that was they did not mention to the audience that this design which you are liking more cost maybe $15 or let's say uh, I would say for $50 and this design is $35. What impact that pricing factor had on the public opinion uh, that was a factor, that was a thing which people used to miss while doing the PicFu poll. So that's very important. And then again, the third element, what's the rating is going to put impact on your uh, opinion on public decision. So we used to factor in usually one KPI, one metric, or we used to do perfection in maybe images or maybe the title stuff, or maybe one component at a time. And uh, if we wanted to get a collective opinion, an opinion about, let's say in the search result, uh, your image, uh, your listing image, title, price, rating, and number of reviews. These five factors are visible at the search result. Uh, if we wanted to get this kind of uh, opinion in which all these five factors are being shown together of both listing, we had to go to something uh, solution which is similar to the mock-up stuff and that was definitely hard to go with. So here this mock-up generator tool, it's kind of amazing uh, what PicFu is offering and it has decreased the amount of hassle to a very bare minimum level. So let's jump onto the screen and see how we can use that. So here is the page Amazon mock-up generator and here's the option to add the products. Now I'm going to uh, take example of two products. Um, here's a famous product one, uh, which is stress bowl. I really like, uh, the design variability that de the product development in this particular niche. Now around two years back, this was the common product. This was a common design available along with, uh, this kind of design. And yes, again, this one, this design, these were the common designs around two to three year bags. Uh, now let's copy this S in here and put it here. I guess we can add multiple essence up to eight essence, I believe at the same time. And then let's go to the, uh, this one, this guy has done an amazing job. He has uh, merged the pop-up factor and then the, uh, stress ball factor together into a product. And that has, uh, made it a bestseller choice, uh, which is amazing to see. So I'm just copying its S in here as well and pasting it here. Let's import. Okay, so uh, what PicFu does is it keeps the image same, it, it keeps the title same, but then again, uh, regarding the rating and regarding the uh, 
the number of reviews it makes them a standard three star and 100 rating and then it keeps the price it imports the price as exactly from the listing so here are these five factors uh we, what we can do here is let's say we have developed a product or let's say uh we want to test that what impact the less ratings the less number of reviews is going to have on our listing let's say our competitors majority of the sellers in the niche they have reviews uh maybe more than thousand and we make our reviews here maybe 300 200 and then we are going to track uh what is the conversion of the audience uh for our listing for our design particularly and then we can always uh increase our ratings to thousand and eleven hundred maybe uh keeping it kind of same keeping it maybe you would say in three uh digits let's say 1700 of the competitor and 1100 of ours to see what factor uh this particular rating element or this particular number of reviews element is going to bring on the conversion of our listing then again we can always test multiple price and we can see uh let's say if we are increasing price by two dollars or maybe by five ten dollars or decreasing the price making it market competitive what is the uh, difference in the conversion which we can observe here about the title part i don't believe uh this big for poll generator uh can do the justice here uh, to be honest, because there's a difference in the, there's an impact of the keywords uh, being included in the title, then the keywords being added in the title and their placement in the title has a direct relationship with the uh, uh, search results show up of your product against the relevant keyword or the keyword which are in phrase match or broad match to the keywords which we have entered in the title here. So I will, I don't think it can uh, justify the algorithm part, but definitely it can justify the uh, the customer selection or the customer decision maker part. So about the title, I would say this mockup generator would be able to do half justice and would lack in the second half part which the algorithm covers up but then again except other than that part uh, it is a very good tool to uh, cater or to get the answer of multiple questions the impact of rating let's say what's going to happen if your rating is going to switch from four, uh, from 4.3 to 4.2 let's say what's going to happen if your reviews uh, shift or upgrade from three digits to four digits these are the questions these are the things which we always add in our product evaluation criteria now this thing that's going to give us a good help a great help in taking a mature decision here so let's discuss the possible scenarios. First scenario is I keep the title same, I keep the rating same, I keep the price same, and I uh, improve my image and I need to check what better impact my image is going to have in the conversion. Second possible factor is if I have developed a product, if I have developed a couple of features by reading the negative reviews, by doing some social listening, then uh, let's say uh, in this scenario, this is the case number two, basically. So what this new image or new product development or design is going to have an impact. So rather before jumping into the product uh, production part, I would take these polls as the uh, validation uh, element as the social proof in which design public is majorly interested and is it worth to proceed with this design is it showing a tangible improvement in conversion or not so these are some important questions now let's see the third scenario um i i have competitors in the listing which are usually have a number of reviews a thousand plus so i would uh check and compare the rate uh, the number of reviews let's say uh the competitor review number is 1500 and mine uh review number is 300 uh what a conversion or what uh inclination what percentage people are interested in purchasing my product then i would increase the number of reviews to maybe 800 and then i would increase the number of reviews to maybe uh uh, jump uh, increase the number of uh, reviews of the competitor to maybe 1800 or 1900 and for my reviews i would do it like 1100 or 1200 to see if i keep my sales velocity and my review velocity pace high and uh, enter into the four digit uh, review number what impact is it going to bring so these are the multiple facets which we can check uh, with the help of this mock-up generator now and now this is the unify listing tool 
it simply says that uh, you need to uh, this is the same thing which i was telling you as the uh, first mistake which people do while using pickfu uh, what pickfu is suggesting that keep the price reviews and ratings of both listing same so you know you are testing on the basis of title and the images and that would give you an unbiased result and that's a very true statement here so let's say uh, whatever is the condition here we proceed to the uh, import to poll builder and here we would pick up the uh, build from scratch instead of uh, use poll builder here. And this is the question which I usually prefer to proceed with. If you are shopping on Amazon, which product would you click on? That's the first thing. Now regarding the conversion part, that depends upon your uh, other images, your uh, A plus content, and then again, your first reviews and all these factors. Uh, definitely we all are doing FBA here, but then again, your shipping time and some other stuffs. So this is the, I guess, most relevant question, which product would you click on? And then proceeding to the next step, uh, you can adjust a couple of things here. You can add a couple of questions if you want to regarding the audience targeting. Usually people go with the general audience option. What I would suggest here is you should have an ideal customer persona of your target buyers. Uh, you should have an avatar of your target buyers. Uh, what is their age group? Where do they live? What are their hobbies? What are their activities? What things they like? What things they hate? What is their, uh, I would say maybe, uh, what are their monthly earnings? Such a kind of question. You should have a sheet of your target ideal customer persona here. That's very important. That helps you to resonate with your uh, with your customer and in the effort of branding, in the effort of uh, creating picture, writing content, and doing the development of the product. So that's something which I would suggest here. And I would suggest if you have made that thing already, if you don't have that, then definitely you should go with the general audience option. But if you have made up that thing already, then I would suggest you to go with the custom audience option and select the uh, relevant traits as per your ideal customer. And then for the audience size, what I usually select is uh, the number of 50. And instead of doing 100 or maybe 200, I would select the number of 50 and do uh, four to six uh, test keeping one variable, uh, all the other variables same and testing one variable at a time and then reading the uh, responses and observing if there is any glitch or if uh, it is showing that the result is biased due to a couple of other factors which I forgot to unify, then I would go again, make sure all the other factors are unified. And then I would uh, run the poll again. For example, if we are doing a testing on a wooden stool, and let's say uh, both uh, stools, uh, their color is different. Let's say one is lighter and the other one is darker. Then maybe this element can have an impact on uh, making my results, poll results biased instead of the other feature which I was testing. So I would make sure that before the other feature, whatever is the feature, uh, before testing that point, I would make sure even the color of the wood one is slightly lighter and other is slightly darker. I would make those same. I would hire, hire a graphic designer and I would make those same because that's very important to make sure that your results are unbiased and you are actually able to identify the reason why people are liking this or not liking this. So that's an important point here. So I would choose the audience size 50 and know about the respondents. It's kind of your option if you want to do the study or not. I usually skip this part. And then uh, add-ons. I would always suggest you to uncheck this. Now, definitely you can save the $5, but that makes your data public. So what a smart person can do, he can kind of access uh, this public data and your competitor can study from it. So why should we leave a, a loophole here? And the other point here, definitely, if you're watching the video till this time, uh, that can be a golden nugget for you. Uh, if you are stuck under the product development portion, then you can always go to this uh, poll gallery of PicFu and see uh, if there is any testing, uh, PicFu poll testing regarding your product, which you're planning to launch. That would help you to go get an idea about the customer inclination and preferences. So after this, definitely we would confirm the poll and pay the uh, proceed to the checkout. PicFu is a great tool with respect to uh, the quick delivery of the results. 
I mean, it's amazing. It usually provides us that in maybe uh, 45 to 45 to 60 minutes. That's quite amazing. And you can always see the result and do the changes very quickly instead of waiting for a couple of days. So that's it. This video is more about when to use it, how to use it, what are the common mistakes people make and uh, what are the common scenarios which uh, through which we can evaluate our products rather than what is this uh, simple mock-up generator tool. So hope it helps. If you like the video, do uh, share it and subscribe the channel and let's stay connected. Thank you so much.